Sansa, Little Bird, Lady Wolf, or Lone Wolf. That's what we're going to talk about today. Sansa spent almost half of her life so far being educated at King's Landing. She has many teachers since leaving the safety of Winterfell. Cersei and Littlefinger are among the, her most attentive teachers. Cersei loved to correct and shock Sansa. Sansa was taught personal cruelty from the two great masters of the cruel by Joffrey and Ramsay. Sansa has survived the Game of Thrones so far. She survived King's Landing, the Vale, Winterfell with the Boltons, Travel to the Wall, the Battle of the Bastards, and now she does not hide. She does not run away from the world and the people who want her dead. You may think Sansa was safe at the Vale. You would be wrong. There was danger all around her. Lysa Aaron was by no means a stable person. She had seen firsthand what little fingers capable of. So yes, Sansa has been running scared ever since her father's arrest. Before her father's death, Sansa's world was seen in shades of black and white, with no shades of gray in between. Sansa is a quick study and makes her first move at the veil. In the telling of her aunt's death, Sansa played Littlefinger. Her testimony was Sansa's attempt to return some control over her life. By telling Lord Royce and company her true identity, Littlefinger lost some of his control over Sansa. Before that, Sansa was introduced as Littlefinger's niece in the show. However, in the books, Sansa is known as Littlefinger's bastard daughter. Sansa has always looked down on John. Her mother taught her this. Sansa has, in a way, walked where John walked, figurative. Sansa learns what it is like to be a bastard of a lord. Sansa's father was fostered at the veil. The Starks are thought of in high regard there. By admitting her true identity, Sansa knew the lords of the veil would protect her. She was Ned's little girl. Littlefinger was completely taken off guard upon hearing Sansa's version of the death of Liza Aaron. Now Sansa is an investment that he has lost control of. What does Littlefinger do to investments that don't live up to his expectations? The next thing you know, she's being taken to Winterfell and given as a prize to Ramsay Bolton. Yes, Littlefinger got his investment back all right. Littlefinger knew about Ramsay and had planned on Ramsay breaking some, but Littlefinger was not there. There's still value in the Stark name and the North as a whole. It backfired. The extent of Ramsay's cruelty and abuse was too much. Littlefinger had Sansa tucked away for a rainy day. He never expected Sansa to escape. Sansa knows Littlefinger and heard Lysa tell of his plan to have Lysa poison John Aaron. She knows he killed Joffrey, and Sansa personally saw Littlefinger's re reward when he killed Ser Dantos. Sansa knows Littlefinger's deliberately implicated her and Tyrion in Joffrey's death. She knows too much, and he's lost control of her, and he can't just let her roam free. The Knights of the Vale know Sansa's true identity. Now the Vale knows just how capable Littlefinger is of playing the game at manipulation. What has Sansa learned? Let's examine her testimony of Liza's death. Sansa told part truth and part lie. First, she told her true name, thus regaining her identity. Sansa also lied to the Vale Lords and Lady by covering for Littlefinger. As I said, Littlefinger lost complete control of Sansa. Just as Littlefinger got back his investment on the sad horse, so does he with Sansa. Sansa's been taught and has learned the facts of life the hard way. When Sansa makes the lone wolf speech at the end of the latest Game of Thrones season 7 trailer, there are two possibilities I can see right off the bat. One, this could be said in the crypts of Winterfell at Rickon's funeral. Let's hope no more Stark are killed off and Rickon will be the last. Why is Rickon the lone wolf? He's been lonely most of his short life. He was left by his mother at a very young age and also lost his father. Everyone was always too busy for Rickon, and he was left with the company of his dire wolf, Shaggy Dog, and the wildly Nosha. He was sent away by his closest brother, Bran. Rickon has truly been a lone wolf. The other possibility is number two. Sansa has listened to all of Littlefinger's advice, instructions, and life lessons as seen by Littlefinger. Season 7 could see Sansa educating Littlefinger on some stark teachings. This lone wolf speech 
could be said to Littlefinger just before Sansa sentences him to death. Upon the return of Arya and Bran, the pact will be will have survived. Bran will be the wise sage who will bring hard truths to light, S and Sansa, as the stranger, will execute Littlefinger. Well, this is my tin full for the day. Thank you for listening, coming by, checking us out. It's much appreciated, more than you realize. Please, if you like it, give a thumbs up, leave a comment, and please subscribe. God bless you all. Good night.